is where they tried to save her. Medical kits and a school bag strewn on the ground where a 15-year-old girl was stabbed to death on her way to school. I turned around and I could see that someone was trying to resuscitate her over there. There were loads of people that had just come off of the bus and then I think two of the, um, the girl's friends came out and they were trying to rush over towards the body. So myself and a few of the other people tried to hold her back and just say, look, let them try and help your friend. And she was just screaming, is my friend dead? And saying, this is my best friend. She died less than an hour later, with police then arresting a 17-year-old boy who they think knew her. Within 75 minutes of the incident happening, a 17-year-old boy was arrested in New Addington. He remains in custody and will be questioned by detectives. We remain in the early stages of our investigation. However, based on what we know so far, we, we believe that we are not looking for anyone else in connection with this offence. After the police updates, words of consolation from the local MP. We all hold our children close and our community will take time to grieve. But for today, we are just thinking of this young girl and her family. I'm so sorry. Sadly, London is no stranger to teenage stabbings, though police have worked hard to bring down the number of fatalities in recent years. But what happened here today will remind people it is still a huge problem. With the death of such a young girl on her way to school, terrifying local people. While the victim has not been named, her private school released a statement saying we are deeply shocked by the senseless and tragic death of our much loved and valued friend and pupil. It will take some time for the old palace community to come to terms with this terrible news and we will offer support to our pupils as we try to do so. As police continue to hunt for evidence and question their suspect, a family is grieving, while the wider community grapple with the loss of another young teenager on London streets. Rachel Venables, Sky News, Croydon.